Uh, got the colour nicely spread, blue is there the tube, and now she's just watching that expand. It shall not let it expand too much because it will be too thin, and then it'll collapse when we wind up more glass. So we're not going to do that. So it just gets it nicely shaped, and in the meantime, I'm going to start with the decoration. 
which is going to be made with this piece of white glass. This piece of white glass is a very special glass, it's called Jugo, and it's so special that we, it's special because you can actually put on a very fine, a very fine trail, and that trail, when you blow it up, doesn't spread, it stays very fine. And it also maintains its depth of colour as well. And it's just you notice that the table is about the wrong way. Part to apply the trail. We've got some rollers on the on the table. So I was just maneuvered it nicely. I'll do the rest. So into the furnace she goes and she winds on the on glass. using there to shape the glass is a pad and that pad is basically a few sheets of newspaper soaked in water. the glass is moving all the time, you're always turning the iron and then I'm going to apply this trail. Nice uh, random trail there. We'll put about a nice little uniform. Whatever wants to be a bit more army, so I was just made it all over the place. So tidy, really. That's what you said, anyway. She told us last week. Uh, white glass is very, very expensive because of its properties, so we'll see that later. Glass. If that trail is not smooth, we'll actually trap air around the trail 
uh, air will then expand and give you blisters. It's all very well if you make it a bit weird and you want some bubbles in there, then you indent the glass and then you cover it and trap the air, then it expands into your bubbles. But if you did that in a nice bowl like this, then it would weaken the actual bowl and it would also not look as nice as it will do. It's the cheapest we can find. So, I'm just giving you an idea of how cold that's become, how safe it's become. So when I say cold, it's still well above 500 degrees. If it goes below 500 degrees, it will crack. Because 500 degrees is the annealing point of our glass. That's the point where no stress and strain can exist in the glass. Below that, it can. And I'll explain a little bit more about that at the end of the morning. So, Evan's going to wind on the next amount of hot glass. Each time you wind on glass, it's called a gather, such as gathering the glass. So you have a quick look at the furnace there. It's 1130 degrees. Um, it's heated by the elements, and then we've got a basin where we have the supply of glass. And that supply of glass comes from little nuggets of glass that we buy in from Germany, um, and that form is called coolidge. We've got that overnight out at 1130 and then work it at the same temperature the next day. Now Emma's also using a wooden block to shape the glass. That wooden block's made of fruit wood, and in most cases it's cherry, because cherry tends to last the longest. It doesn't burn out this quick. So Emma's uh, shaping the glass, and she also points it up a little as well, because the pointed end is obviously at the base of the piece, and the cooler that becomes, then when you blow it up, the side walls go up and you can't blow through the bottom because it's much stiffer. So that keeps a nice sturdiness for your ball. And if you want to put a foot on it, it'll add sturdiness for that as well. So whatever shapes, keeps a nice point and chills the point and then turns and blows and the colour starts to spread through the clear, the clear glass and again she just gets the shape uh, oh, it's a sorry blue. so it wasn't green after all it's sorry blue i told you i have a clue and the reason why i didn't know is because i didn't do a little map on the wind to tell us which colour was which. We usually put them in order, but I didn't have time this morning. So, anyway, we've got three bits of colour in and one's grey, one's blue grey, and this one's actually blue, similar to this. All, and actually, this is sorry, blue as well. So, you can see the blue starting to emerge there. That's because it's cooling down. The more it cools down, the more the colour becomes apparent. But you never see the true colour of any piece of it on until it cools right down to room temperature. So I'm going to get ready with a foot, just a little bit of glass to start with, just so that I'm getting uh, enough whatever to stick onto the base. So she just shapes that into a nice ball shape. And then what she's doing there now is she's cutting a line into the glass. Just cutting a line into the glass the far side of the iron. That means all the glass is free of the iron on that cut line. That's your cap line or your neck line. That's the potential rim of the ball. If you want to make a bar, then you hang it down and stretch it. So 
she swarms it in the air, falls back to her finds her own system. She'll also shape it with the newspaper. And then once she's got it nice and stabilized, we'll drop on this foot. under the base of the bowl. It's a nice rounded, get a nice shape, nice button there. Then she'll make sure it's nice and flat and then we'll swap it over on the lap of the iron I mentioned so that we work on the rim in the final shape. That other iron is called a punte or a pontil. Pontil is a French word coming from the word pont meaning bridge. So we'll create a temporary bridge so we can work on the rim of that lip wrap on and open it out. So I have it just slightly indented as well so that the pony removes quite readily with the other on. You can see that lovely blue, deep blue colour. Really emerging, very vibrant. So yeah. And it release and we made on my eye. Two irons now, both are in a line. A little bit more water, a little towel, off it comes. temperature right because if it gets below that five minutes it will crack. So every every now and again now needs to look after that pointy joint. Keep it nice and warm, but not too warm that it flops around, and not too cold that the slightest vibration 
and it falls on the floor. So I'm going to just keep giving it what's called a flash till I get this piece nice and hot. Should not be long. Point it up. And then we'll drop it on the ring. Expensive colours are pinks, rubies, it's made with gold. Uh, the cheap ones are greens, must have made with iron. Cobalt blue, manganese purple, copper turquoise. Under controlled conditions, must have toxic, can be made more slimy red. Clear light and tin give you white. Now, the cost of all those oxides is a lot more besides, it's possible to get all the colours that made more both in opaque colours and transparent. The opaques, you can actually see what colour they are, but they're very, very dense, as is the transparents. So the transparents all look black. That's why I couldn't tell you which colour is which. You usually mark on, because this label usually wears off, so we actually etch on the colour all the way down the road. But you only need a small amount for one piece, and they come in about 10 inches to a foot long. So whatever it's got, Nice ball shape in there, opening it very gently. Got to be very careful because if she turns it too fast, it'll open too far. If she's spur it fast, she'll get a plate. 
Uh, depends on what shape or whatever shape. So if it's getting the ball up a lathe saw, so we'll uh, just get it nice and rounded and see what you finish. So it's now spread quite into a, a flattish shape, and she'll then paper up and get it nice and rounded. to just give that what's called a little flash just to spread the heat evenly all around and that will help it to start to cool down your uniform. And it will remain in the oven. If you want to screen by the way you'll see I'm repair. So if you'll uh, pick up an ordinary kitchen knife, tap it into the joint where we're connected the iron. And a little tap of the iron that releases. Mix up an oxycropion top, melts in any ragged edges, that in turn leaves a mark or a scar. That's your put the or your pop mark, which proves it's been happy. So, ever put some open wheels on, bring it around and then you say one more time before we place it in the oven uh, at that 500 and remain in the oven so that it only becomes 500 inside and out. And then it's roughly 20 degrees an hour, we'll drop it down to room temperature. So the outside and inside is cooling more or less at the same rate. And that sets, stops the stress and strain setting up. So around there it comes. Shows you that lovely blue wall. And then she needs to get it in the oven before it cracks.